is going to start us off in this Samson stretch. And he's going to be in this kneeling lunge position. Arms are going to come overhead, palms up towards the ceiling. And he's going to hold this for 90 seconds. Okay, 90 seconds this position. Once that 90 seconds is over, he's going to switch, get to the opposite lunge form, and then same thing. He's going to hold this for 90 seconds as well. Once that is complete, we'll move on to couch stretch. So a lot of us have heard this before. If you haven't, this is a very important stretch, especially if we're squatting a decent amount. Really important here. He's going to find an upright. It is called couch stretch. If you want to use your couch, that's totally fine as well. But he's just going to keep that knee down, get it as close to that upright as possible. Opposite knee comes up, knee staying over the heel and trying to lift his chest just like he is. Nice and vertical from the hip up. He's going to hold 60 seconds on this side, 60 seconds on the opposite side. And then he is going to go into a frog stretch and he is going to hold this for two minutes. So he's just going to try to sink his hips back towards his heels or his ankles, just widening those legs as far as he can in this position. Once again, two minute hold here, and that is today's mobility. Have fun. Okay, good morning guys. Our workout today is going to be a chipper. It's going to go from 100 down to 10. The first one is not necessarily 100, but it's a 1K run. And that 1K run is 1,000 meters, you know, somewhere in that four to six minute range. So if you're a, if you're a little bit a slower runner, then maybe it's a, a, a four minute run out and a four minute run back, or a three minute run out and a three minute run back. Uh, but we're looking for roughly a four to six minute time domain for that run. When you get back, Instead of double unders, which we'd like to do if, if everybody had a rope, if you have a jump rope, then do 90 double unders. If you don't have a rope or you don't have double unders, it's going to be 90 double hip taps. All right? That's tough because I got to jump high enough to get a double tap on my hips. All right? That's about as close of a scale for double unders you're going to get with my heart rate and the time domain for that. After we do that, we've got 80 switch lunges. My feet come back to the center every time. One, and two, and three. I finish my switch lunges. I then have a 70 second hollow hold. Same scale, so before I can scale it down, bring a leg in, bring both legs in, 70 seconds. The 60 is gonna be wall taps with a one second hold with that palm on the wall. So again, I want my arm to be able to be straight, pushing into it, and I've got 60 of those. I finished those 60, 50 burpees. We know what a burpee is, we can scale that burpee however we need to, we can do it up, down, uh, we can uh, scale the number if we, if we really don't feel comfortable with the burpees or I've got some back pain or some knee pain, I can scale the burpee number, but it's 50 burpees. And remember, you can't scale the number just because you don't enjoy the movement. You can scale, the, you can scale the, the, the number or the movement if I cannot physically do that without pain. And, 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 and my, my soul hurting doesn't count as actual pain. All right, so don't, don't get that twist. A lot of times when people get out of breath, they start scaling things because it's uncomfortable. That's not how we scale things. We scale things because it's physical pain. Uh, not emotional scar, right? Now, after the 50 burpees, I've got 40 one arm mountain climbers. I got 20 with my right arm. He's gonna switch arms, and he's got 20 with his opposite arm. 30 plyo squats. Now the, the feet are gonna split forward, then backward, then he falls into a squat. So it's here, here. Oh, that's it. That's what we're looking for with that plyo squat. All right, one more. That's it. The 20 squat jumps, you're gonna pick an object. So if it's a cone, if it's a bottle, if it's a, a sweatshirt, whatever it is, put it on the ground. It's a squat over the ob jump, over the ob jump, squat, jumps back. We got 20 of them. And then we're gonna end with 10 plyo push-ups. I'd like to see us clap our hands these 10 plyos. If I can't clap my hands, 
the hands just leave the ground. If I can't get my hands on the ground, it'll just be a regular push-up. And if I can't do a regular push-up, it'll be on my knees. Simple as that. Start with that 1K run, I come all the way down, and my time is up after the 10 plyo push-ups. All right, that's a little bit longer one. Grind through it.